President Donald Trump continues to question the integrity of the November election, and he is urging supporters to monitor the polls. Now, Election Day is just 28 days away, and early voting starts in 11 days. The I team's Vanessa Murphy has more on a call to action from President Trump and also what the rules are. Vanessa? Yeah, we're outside Boulevard Mall, and this will be an early voting and election day location. And after President Trump urged his supporters to come to the polls to watch carefully, Attorney General Aaron Ford and election officials are warning about voter intimidation. Individuals at the polling place that may uh, try to prevent voters from exercising their civil rights, that's a federal and state crime. And we will be watching for that. Wayne Thorley is the Deputy Secretary of State for Elections in Nevada. Despite election officials like Thorley saying voter fraud is not widespread, President Donald Trump continues to say ballots may be manipulated. He made this call to action at the first presidential debate. I'm You'll urging go first. my supporters to go into the polls and watch very carefully because that's what has to happen. I am urging them to do it. Voters can observe the process. When a person is an observer, they have to follow certain guidelines that are set out in law. Um, we, they are not active participants in the voting process. They are passive observers. If they notice a problem, they can contact an election official at the polling location. Clark County Registrar Joe Gloria says contacting his office is also an option for concerns about both voter fraud and voter intimidation. Put your complaint directly into our office and we'll log that and we would immediately send out an admin rover if they're willing to stay long enough for that admin rover to arrive on scene and address their concern if they felt it wasn't being dealt with. And concerned voters and poll watchers can contact the Clark County Registrar's Office at 702-455-VOTE. And as we've been reporting, due to COVID-19, there are several options to vote this year. Voters can mail in their ballots, they can drop off their ballots at locations like this one, or they can also vote in person. Reporting live, Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now.